the Nissan is over here with parts piled in front of it but still looking sick um, all right I gotta get busy it's a busy day today and hopefully if I can get through some of these projects this evening is gonna get rad so follow along and hopefully we can make it to the end of the day Welcome back into the Dirthead Shed. It's chaos in here. It's Tuesday. I took a little time off work this week so that I could work on these projects. I got stuff all over the place. Cameron's Toyota Tundra is getting lift, wheels, tires, a roof rack, like all kinds of chaos is going on on that. Um, you'll see a full video on that. Right over here I got this JK for my friend John doing a Skyjacker lift, um, wheels, tires, and I'm actually filming some stuff for Skyjacker on that. Uh, so we'll be working on this thing a bunch today. I've got a ton of work to do on it. Uh, wheels and tires everywhere. These are going on mom's spaghetti along with those tires. That's kind of a video I'm gonna be filming on these new Falcon RTs. This morning I just ran over to O'Reilly and I had to pick up some tire mounting paste and some new valve stems because I'm always out of valve stems and I was trying to mount these tires up and geez like these are those those bead grips the methods that I've run on a bunch of vehicles and I could not get them to mount on that tire or mount the tire on that wheel. Uh, today's going to be a ton of work cutting and grinding on the Jeep over here. Um, probably pressing some wheel bearings on on Cameron's rig and then uh, hopefully if we get through the day get enough stuff done then uh, this evening I've got like a super red surprise on a new build so because I don't have enough stuff going on right so stick around hopefully we can get some work knocked out and get to the fun stuff this evening all right first project was done well I was letting the GoPro batteries charge up I got these Falcon Wild Peak RTs mounted up and they took like I'm not gonna, gonna lie they took 80 psi to seat the beads on those bead grips that was sketchy I was over here hitting my air pressure valve with this piece of metal from like 10 feet away because I was sketched out being that close to the machine um, which it's pretty crazy they say not to seat tires with more than like 40 psi because they can blow up and explode and hurt you which i agree with um but i needed to get these things on there so i had to do what i had to do um the good thing is though that since they took so much pressure to get on to the wheel that usually means you can run them super low pressure off road and not have to worry about them coming off of the bead so I'm going to balance them real quick and get back to working on that Jeep because the Jeep's actually a job I'm supposed to be working on today. Next up on the to-do list is getting these long arm brackets on the frame of this JK. These are the brackets right here. They're from Skyjacker. And essentially, yeah, it goes that way. Sorry for the bad camera work. Essentially, this needs to be able to slide up that hole and that hole will line up this inside bracket is in the way so i'm gonna cut that bracket off and pull that bolt out and we should be able to get this thing up in place here pretty quick It's gonna fit.
Tools everywhere. I got this thing done though. I mean, I got what I wanted to get done. Front lower brackets are on for the long arms. Arms are in, uppers are in. I think I just need to do a track bar later, but I'm gonna go figure out what I need for this other project I'm doing. Look, I also smashed myself in the nose with a ratchet. Cool. All right, I'll come back to this later. I'm not even putting this away. I'm just gonna shut the door. beautiful out here. I've got my tools all loaded up and it is time to go check out a new project. This is going to be rad. It's my first time doing a will it run video or a rescue or whatever, but this is actually a car I've been after for five years now. Um, and the paperwork is finally squared away. So we are going to go, um, we're going to go see if this thing will run and see if it'll drive. We're going up to my buddy's uh, place. His name's Jim. He has a ton of cool stuff up on his property, and uh, this little Jim is just one of the things that I've got my eye on. I needed some supplies, so we're gonna run in here real quick, and what do I gotta get? Um, a couple fuel filters and some wheel weights for those other tires I was doing. Just a couple things. We're gonna run in real quick, and then we'll go meet up with Jim. There's Jim. He's actually an old friend of mine from back when I lived in California. Then he moved up here probably 15 years before I did. Jim moved my car on me. He's cleaning this place up. Oh, there it is. All right, this is it. All right, quick backstory on this thing. This is a 1976 Mustang II. I've been after this car for like five years now. And I finally, I'm going to try and drag it out of here. This is a Ghia version. It had a white vinyl roof on it. Rubber bumpers, 76. It's a four-cylinder, four-speed, 13-inch steel wheels, wire basket caps. Um, it's in pretty good condition. Rear bumper cover's fallen off of it. Supposedly, this thing ran when... Uh, my other friend John had it. It was supposed to have ran back then. And then uh, I never saw it ran or heard it ran. Paperwork was all screwy. So uh, it's up here at Jim's house now and he gets paperwork all squared away, plates and title and all that. So we're gonna see if we can make this thing run, move forward and backwards and maybe drive around a little bit. If we can make this thing drive and run, then we can start messing with how to make it look cool in some future episodes. This is Jim. Hi everybody. Hey, buddy from way back. Um, I brought all kinds of stuff out here to air up tires and put batteries in it. And he's he's over here like, I'm gonna get this thing running. He's, he says, I don't know why you brought all that crap with you because this thing ran like not too long ago. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. we'll see. Nothing's ever easy. If something's easy today, then I'm going to be stoked. Because, like, already earlier today, I smashed myself in the nose no, with a yeah, ratchet. I like, <laughs> oh, I did that with a... I was pulling on something, and it was, bam! Popped yeah. myself right in the lip. Busted my lip up. It happens. Yep. All right, here's noise. See this? 2.3 liters of fury. Maybe. Oh, here it is. Here it is. 
Look at that. Look at that, baby. Man. So this thing is basically... Let me get away from the compressor. This thing's basically a Ford Pinto, right? So it's a unibody. This was pre-Fox body Mustang. It was post cool Mustangs. It was this weird period of time when they were just trying to get like get little econo box cars. So this thing is a little four cylinder. Should have got good gas mileage. It says Mustang, but there's really not much Mustang about it. It's it's pretty much a rebadged, rebodied Pinto. It's got a little bit of rust in it. I don't know that I ever noticed that before. But all in all, I think this car was pretty clean. There should be a couple of rear bumpers at the local pull and save. Somebody had scrapped a few of these cars recently, so I think we've got some parts available close by. I think the key on this car is just to keep it fun and uh, not turn it into a big project if I don't have to. Um, what'd you find? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! I, uh, I have some secrets. Well, not secrets, but there's reasons for why I'm picking this car to build. And part of it is because this front suspension is uh, one of like the easiest cars to lower. I and mean, he actually had a set of drop spindles sitting in there. So we're going to let the air tires air up, drag out some tools and a battery and see if this thing will fire off. Awesome. This thing smells exactly like you would think it would smell. <laughs> a little bit of mold little bit of wet houndstooth oh my gosh it smells absolutely terrible once again I'm getting a car that my wife and kids are not gonna want to ride in man this thing's cool I might have to hide it here though until it looks better my wife is gonna be so mad <laughs> wives don't understand this sort of thing all right go grab some tools and a battery and stuff I kind of brought everything just because I assumed that this car is gonna be junk and will never run all right I like your confidence in how easy this thing is gonna be to get running Um, do you think the gas is going to be good? Did you run it ever with the fuel in the tank? Really? Nobody's going to watch this if it fires right up. You know that, right? Well, what do we need to do to make it not fire up then? Uh -huh. Film the turkey. Film, film more of the turkey. <laughs> Alright. Film pictures of cool other stuff like Volkswagen roofs and Volkswagens and bicycles. All right, this is very heavy. Really? You bought this out of the wrecking yard? Yeah, 800 bucks. What? Had the carburetor rebuilt and put a battery on it and drove it back here. Do I need to go buy more junk at wrecking <laughs> yards and auctions and stuff or? <laughs> oh, look at you. What, with my fancy battery? Your fancy brand new battery. Yeah, dude, baller. A three hundred dollar battery in a two hundred dollar car. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Not very tight. That's good. The starter wasn't sticking already. Didn't run ourselves over. <laughs> right here, you're gonna find out that I'm really not an engine master. Jim might be. Hopefully, neither of us have to be engine masters, and this thing just fires off. Pull the old vice grip trick. And get some fuel in the bowl. Alright. What's Ready? that? The I got you there. Oh, I was just pouring it in the in the vent basically down into the bowl. Alright. Let's see. Oh my god, it's got an alpine stereo. <laughs> That's ridiculous. A little more, but more.
There's a lot in there now. Your blinker's on. Okay. I'm old. I drive with it on. I think like, I think when other people do will it run videos, they usually check the oil first. Yeah. yeah. Things like that. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Doesn't smell too bad. No? Alright, let's just pour a bunch it of smells gas. Smells better in there than it does the car. Yeah. We'll put a bunch of gas in it and see if it'll run for real. I wonder if this is going to be a good car if it's just a piece of junk. Sounds great. Yeah. Sounds like a race car. Oh my gosh. I finally got the kids to stop calling Mom Spaghetti the rat truck. The clutch. All the way down. Heck yeah, it's a runner. Um, now it's will it move. <laughs> We're good enough for a test drive. At least go turn it around in the field. Hmm. Oh boy. All right then. Oh gosh. It's gonna go break down in your neighbor's yard and then they're gonna own it. Gosh. I don't know how I'm gonna make this thing smell better.
First time driving the stick. <laughs> 